Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> what is up, you guys? My name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and I like to make things. So I am here in this video in my robe because this is how all my videos are. I am going away tomorrow from World Eye Weekend. Nothing crazy. I'm just like driving 40 minutes and staying at a cabin with my friends. But I had this idea of making bloomers just like this in less than 24 hours because it's currently 4 p.m. and I'm leaving tomorrow at 2.30 and I have also a bunch of shit to do between now and then. So we'll fucking see how this goes. But I have this leftover True Boo yarn from my lace maxi dress video. I have two skeins. We'll see if this is enough. It low key goes pretty far. And I have them double stranded because it's like so thin and I want them to obviously not be see-through. So what I like about these bloomers is how it's like ruched or I don't know if that's the right word. It's like, Maybe it is the right word. It's like rouge, so there, it's like bump. It's like bump, 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 bump. <laughs> I'm a fucking expert. And so that's what I'm trying to recreate. And I'm gonna show you how, but basically my concept is a row of single crochets and a row of triple crochets, kind of like this ballerina sweater I made. And I'm hoping that it'll have like a little bit of that sort of ruching aesthetic. But we are gonna start by chaining enough so that it'll fit over my arse, so. That's what we're doing. Also, I just wanna say guys, I'm sorry for being somewhat absent on YouTube. I am so grateful for all the subscribers. We just hit 3,000, which is super fun and fresh. Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you. I have just been prioritizing finishing my commissions because I have quite a few people waiting on me and I do not want to not honor any commitments in terms of time frame. I also had a few orders of people who had like a specific date they needed it by. So that's why I've been so busy, but thank you guys again for being here. I appreciate you. This is probably enough. I'm gonna go off camera to put this around my hips. <laughs> Okay, this is wide enough. This seems really wide. For my first row, I'm going to actually BRB. It's the way I left the camera rolling for that. I have this thin elastic, which, forget why I got this, but I have it in my little sewing stash. And I'm gonna single crochet it into the first row so that it's tight around my waist because I don't really wanna tie with these. I will if I have to, and my hips are a lot wider than my waist, so. That's just the T. Um, I'm gonna start out by first, I think, getting the correct length, and then I'm going to hand sew it into a little circle. Oh, wait. <sighs> this is in centimeters, because I got this sewing kit in France. Um, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't understand centimeters. Okay. I have a backup. This looks really small, but I think this will be a good amount of elastic for my hips and my waist so oopsie i'm exposing myself with my mess but so i have my elastic here which does look very tiny but i assure you it stretches a lot and i'm just going to connect in the round this little paw and now i'm gonna chain one and i'm gonna grab the elastic oof i've never done this before i'm nervous every video i'm like i've never done this before i have no idea what i'm doing and then i'm going to stick it in that first stitch, yeah, it's easy. And then I'm just gonna single crochet the elastic inside. So I just got the elastic in and it's kind of like bunching up, but now I'm doing my first row of triple crochets. I'm a little scared it's gonna be tight going on my hips, like this small of an elastic, but I never know what I'm doing, so that's just part of the process. And I'm just gonna say this now, you guys, I'm probably not gonna finish this in time for tomorrow. Let's just like set myself up for not being super stressed because I always, if you've watched my videos, I do this every time. I just like get an idea, like a day before I have some like thing I'm gonna do that I'm excited about. And I'm like, I'm gonna make a whole outfit for it in 24 hours. And then I'm like, and I'll film it. And then I like start and then get like not even a quarter done. And I'm like, cool. I come back to the camera ashamed two days later, like, hey guys. Hi guys. So I don't know why, but that's like my mental illness. Um, it's my truth. All right, so did my first row of triple crochets and it's like looking a little crazy funky, but I did just try it on and it does fit my body. So the next, I'm sorry, I need to stop. The next step is to, oh my God, I just said I would stop. Okay, one second girls. 
Okay, had a bit of a technical difficulty. Wait, what? Um, oh, Lord. Okay, continued that technical difficulty. So I'm just gonna, I chained one and I'm just gonna turn my work and now we're gonna do single crochets all the way around. So it's kind of taking on that like worst shape, hopefully. Okay, the vibe is taking shape. I'm just gonna keep going single crochet, triple crochet, single crochet, triple crochet, until I reach the rise I want, which is gonna be high-waisted rise, so. Tea. Mush mush. Spoiler alert, I did not finish the bloomers in time before I left for my trip, so I am now back and we are gonna finish these bloomers, but first we're going to Joanne's. It is the next day, and as you have already seen and heard, the tea drama is that, of course, I did not finish these at all before I left for my trip, and no one's surprised, and I need to just stop saying that in my videos. However, I'm back, I'm better than ever, sir. So I'm trying to, once again, finish these because I really wanna wear them with my white lace dress, and it'll be like such a cute outfit when it's like hot in Seattle. So here's my progress. Um, this is how far we've gotten. I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of has that like ribbing effect. I'm kind of like fucking with the vibe. So I'm just gonna keep going until this reaches like the appropriate rise for me. And then I'm gonna break it apart into two legs. So let's do it. So very interesting. I'm gonna make the two leg openings, but just for reference, I've done 12 repeats of the single crochet and then the triple crochet pattern. So 12 rows of that pattern. And here's how you connect for some shorts. And I've showed this before when I made my little pants bolt. It's so simple. So I like finish my row and I'm gonna chain four. And then you're gonna find the midpoint on the other side and connect. So I just counted in, there's 122 stitches. So for me, that's gonna be after like 61 stitches. So I'm just gonna put my hook in the halfway point on the other side and connect this with a slip stitch. And then we're just gonna chain one and do, since we ended on a triple crochet, a row of single crochets. And then once you get to that middle part, you're just gonna single crochet into all four stitches. And then you're just gonna connect to that first one like normal. And that is literally it. So for the other leg, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I just single crochet all the way around and then it just like builds into like a little separate leg. So that's our little leg hole, tee hee hee. And now I'm gonna just go back in with my triple crochets. little update. So I actually ended up chaining 13 for the leg connection. That's my little update story. It was just a little too tight for me. So now I'm just going around and around. I'm gonna do four rows of treble crochets and check back in with you. Peace. It's a me. So I just finished this leg. I did four rows, but I'm gonna take off the last row of treble crochets and just do three and I'm almost done. <laughs> broke out like in a major way in Seattle. This video started Memorial Day weekend when I went to like, a little friend's getaway and then I meant to finish it then. I didn't and then I also had a Seattle trip so I was in Seattle for the past like almost two weeks. I did get a new tattoo, I don't notice anything different. I did get my hair cut, I did break out in a bunch of pimples. However, I'm done with the bloomers. Doesn't matter for you guys, although I did have a slight hiatus on YouTube and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm back and I'm ready to show you my bloomers. Oh my god, they look kind of cute on camera. Um, that's the back side. Ah. Okay. <laughs> regrouping, regrouping. I feel like I look not that great. Anyways, my bloomers. 
Do you guys like them? They're kind of cute. They're kind of bloomer like. I have my elastic sleigh moment. They're really heavy. And it's time for a little try on. But before I do that, I did also want to show you guys. I also made this top. I don't know why. Because I had extra yarn and I was like kind of bored on my road trip. So I made this top to go with it. So without further ado, let's try it on. Are you ready? Ta da! These are my bloomers and my little top. This is my first time trying them on together and it's kind of cute and fresh, you guys. So this is the back. I made them a little cheeky short and I'm really glad I can show you guys because when I first started doing YouTube, my audience was literally like 85% male, if not like 92. Like it was vast majority male, which is so fucking annoying. I stopped making videos because of it and then now that I do like my business stuff on YouTube, no males like to watch it because they're like brain dead and stupid. Um, just kidding, love you guys. Love all the men that watch me as long as you're not being creepy. But I would have never shown the cheekiness of it all back then. But these are my little bloomers. I like them. Part of me is like, are they bloomers or are they just like white crochet shorts? But like, whatever. I still think that they're like super cute and wearable and fun. And also like, I love this set together. Like it's giving like nymph girl summer, like fairy girl sleigh. Pause for truck. Let me know what you guys think though in the comments and so sorry for the delay on this video like I love making videos but I am just a busy busy gal so I try to fit it in whenever I can but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like tutorials and DIYs and crafty girl things please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel um thank you guys so much again for 3,000 subscribers like you guys rock my socks off and I'm so happy you're here and I'll see you in the next one bye Tattoo close up if anyone was wondering. I did get a little sunburn because I was covering it at the lake, but it's two little dolphins in the shape of a heart. Because I'm a girl and I like girly girl things. Peace.